from Bharati Public School Kota. Today I am here for English grammar classes. Today's topic is verbs. Finite and non-finite. Finite is the same as we have talked about the principal verb or you may say the first main verb. But non-finite has its own importance. Another important thing regarding the non-finite. The verb which is not You see? 
say there are so many rules are there where can we use 2 plus v1 here You say These are the rules. 
under which 2 plus b1 are used. Another important fact, it is also used as a noun. <laughs> it's a very important. Here the most confusing situation it is how the verb could be in the form of noun. <laughs> you see, it is used as a noun or subject. As a noun or subject. Yes, see the example, it will make you clear. To dance is a yoga. To dance is a yoga. To dance is used in the beginning of a sentence as a subject or as a noun. To get up early is a good habit. To get up is used in the beginning of a sentence. Why 2 plus B1 is used in the beginning of the sentence? It is used as a noun or subject. Right? Now, it is also used as an object. As an object. You say, while using it as an object, it started showing the reason. The reason of doing that work. Suppose, I am writing here, I went to market, I went to market to buy a pen. Why did I go to market? What is the reason behind of going to market? It's a very clear thing. What is that? To buy a pen. To buy a pen. 2 plus 3 1 is used. It is called with infinity. You can see the another examples also. He came here to learn English. Why did he come? It's a very clear answer to learn English. 2 plus B1 to learn English. Right? And now most important things is the bare infinitives. Before this we learned where can we use 2 plus B1. Now more important it is where we should not use 2 before V1. That is called bearing. Only 2 is used. Have some important rules here. One by one we will talk about. Here you see. Rule 1. Whenever had better, would rather, would sooner, rather than, sooner than, need not, is used in a sentence, then we must use only B1. We must not use 2 before. Only B1 is used. See the example. It would better die then they it would better die than they it would better die here only v1 is used must not use to die only die v1 is used because would better is inserted in this sentence you can see another examples also you would better go home you would better Better go only V1. Must not use 2 before. Because here would better is used in the sentence. Next one of the rule is which is related to make. As we have talked about while talking about positive verbs. Always carry the first form of the verb. He made me wake up. He made me wake. Make birth is used so that only wake is used. I made you teach English. Here, make is used is a form of make. Make is used. I made you 
teach English. Here, teach only the first form of the verb is used. Another important fact regarding late. L E T late, you see. It always carries the first form of the verb. See the examples. Let him go home. Let them come in. Let us go for a long drive. Here you see in these sentences, go, come is used only. To is not used before this because late is used in a sentence. Rule four here. Whenever do, does, did, anything, everything, nothing, carry, but or accept, to so then only first form of the verb is used. We should not use two plus be one. See the example. I did nothing but teach. I did nothing. But teach, that is used. Nothing is used. Then but is used. So that only teach is used here. You did nothing but talk. Here but or except you may use. So then only first form of the word. Number next. Whenever why why not is used in a sentence, then only B1 is used. See the example. Why not see a good doctor? Ache doctor se kyo no milte ho? Ache doctor se kyo nahi milte ho? Why not see a good doctor? Here you see, C is used, not to use to see, only C, B1 is used, because why and why not is used in a sentence. Why not you meet me once in a week? Sapta me ek bar tum usse kya ne milte ho? Why not is used? So that, here see, meet, only B1 is used. Another important fact regarding their infinitive is after bid, bid, b i d, bid means bolna to speak. It carry the first form of the word. He bade me submit all the documents by tomorrow. He bade me. Submit, not to use, to submit, because bid is a verb which is applied in this sentence. Now next one is the gerund and its form is fourth form of the verb. It is used, gerund here. It is used as a verb to show continuity of the action. Suppose I am playing the game, here the work of play is going on, it is continued now, it has not been finished. You are learning English, it means that the learning English has not been finished. So here I am the form of the verb playing and learning, it shows the continuity of the verb. But the most important thing is where can we use gerund? It is also used as a noun in the beginning of a sentence. See the example which will clear your doubt. Walking is a good exercise. Getting up early is a good habit. 
telling lie which are saying here in these three sentences here you see the sentence starts with walking getting and telling all are correct it is used as a noun right it is also used as an adjective as an adjective you say you are boring brother here brother is a noun and what is added before boring is ing form of the verb and before the noun adjective is used here boring is an adjective another example you can say this is confusing matter matter is a noun confusing is an ing form is used as an adjective now third one is the participles participle is also divided into these three present participles past participles and perfect participle see the four present participles is fourth form of the verb it means ing form of the verb past participle it means third form of the verb perfect participle it means having plus b3 how can we use these three kinds of participles in the sentences you say the first one is the present participle present participle is used as an adjective also i saw a running thief last night here running running thief thief is a noun and before this running is used as an adjective it is written in ing form of newton saw a falling apple falling apple falling is an adjective here apple is the noun and falling is used before the noun is in the form of adjective right now see the second one is the past participle and its a form is b3 plus noun here it is used as a verb it is used as a verb which shows the completion of the action suppose he has seen this film means the verb of seeing this film has been finished you have bought that car the verb is the buying of car has been finished it is also used as an adjective it's a very important thing you see the police found a hidden thing the police found a hidden thing here you see thing is a noun and before this the third form of the verb he hi is used hidden is in the form of adjective chupa hua to he bought a broken chair usne tooti hui kursi khareedi the speaker says expired things the things have already been expired now perfect participle is that is having plus b3 having plus b3 it shows two works are done but one after another and it is used in the beginning of the sentence see the example what is written there having taken breakfast i went to school having taken breakfast i went to school nasta kar my school gaya the first work has been finished after the second work is done the first work i have taken breakfast then went to school having plus b3 having taken breakfast i went to school having seen the police 
वॉन्टेड टू हाइक पुलिस को देखकर वह पहले पुलिस को देखा फिर झुकना चाह राइट दीज आर ऑल अबाउट द नॉन फाइनेंस टेक केयर